Welcome back guys to another video and today in part 8 of our tutorial series we are going to be weight painting our mesh. So as you can see in our last video we added bones to our object so our mushroom over here this is called the armature and when we went into pose mode when we tried to deform our mesh it wasn't deforming properly as you can see so we're going to weight paint and weight painting is when you assign different areas to your specific bones in order to, so they can actually deform properly as you can see we do not want this top bone to be deforming the bottom part so that is what weight painting is for so let's get straight into it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel so let's get started so the first thing we are going to do is since the eyes and this part of the body are the separate meshes we're going to combine them so they're going to be one mesh so when we grab them they're going to be one mesh so I'm going to select this, shift select the other eyes and shift select this body and let's do control J so then when we go into edit mode we can go into the edit mode on each individual mesh. So now once we have done this now it starts it's time for us to weight paint our object. So to actually weight paint what we have to do is we have to shift select our armature first remember that it has to be first and then we're going to shift select our mesh last and then we're going to go in to weight paint mode so select weight paint mode and now as you can see we're gonna see something like this do not panic it is supposed to change colors now as you can see this first bone is selected now and when you're in weight paint mode to select a different bone you have to alt left click it so if you want to select this bone alt left click to select this bone alt left click to select this bone and alt left click to select that bone over there so alt left clicking now the different colors shows the area, the weight paint they have. So weight paint of one means it's going to be red. It has full influence. So it's going to, um, it's going to actually, the bone is going to influence that area 100%. And then we have a weight paint of zero. That means it's not going to influence that area. And anything between red and blue, it's going to be between one and zero. So as you can see, we can see this is green. And green is somewhere between 1 and 0. That means it has some influence. So as you can see, when we move this bone, so if we do R to rotate, this is the reason why our bone is actually moving the bottom part. Because it has some influence over it. It doesn't matter if it's not 0. It might have influence of 0 0.1, as you can see. Or like 0.3-ish. That's the great green color, 0 0.3. It has the influence of 0 0.3. That means it's still going to influence it a little bit. Now the top bone, we will only want to influence the top hat red thing the mushroom has, okay? So we want to influence only that. So that means the top part of our mushroom has to be red, fully influenced, and then the bottom part has to be blue, meaning it has no influence. So this bone will have no influence over this part of our mushroom. So let's get this, let's start it. So let's gonna go over here, wait like that, and then we're just going to quickly paint this with a weight paint of zero that means when you deform it when you move that bone rotate it it will have no influence it controls the to see the bottom part and quickly just quickly make it zero okay as you can see we're going to make everything over here zero so quickly just make it zero now as you can see i'm just doing the top part a bit rough i'm going to i'm going to put make the top part um one because that bone this bone is only going to be influencing this top part over here not the bottom part now our top part we're going to change it to weight to paint of one so when we paint it now let's really paint it now now it's going to influence it 100 percent. so that top bone is going to be influencing it 100 percent. so let's really do it like this you can spend more time on it but i'm going to do it quick for the tutorial um i don't want to spend I just I don't I don't want you to be bored me doing this whole thing. So let's quickly paint it like this, and just do it like this. Now you want some of it, like not red, but you want some of the colors to be here. This creates a gradient. It's better for bending your bone. It's better for deformation. So you want to be a slight gradient, and I'll show you get. The, I'm I'm going I'm quickly going to show you how to get the best gradient. So just move things out. So let's quickly do it like over here, and now. Now we have done this, we'll make it final touches, make this red. Now to make a good gradient, what we can do is just do shift 
and then do your mouse shift to let and then move your brush this will smooth it out and it creates this sort of gradient as you can see and this is for better deformation now if we rotate it it's going to rotate only the top and some of this gradient to a certain degree of influence and look at that now our top bone is only influencing our top of the thing now the next thing i want you to do is that go over here into tool properties and i want you to turn on auto normalize now this is when if a bone shares a certain area it's going to auto normalize it so it doesn't like fight for that specific area because weight painting will always add up to one okay so remember turn on auto normalize if then tell your bones do not fight for a specific area that is just a way of saying it okay just turn it on it's a good setting so let's quickly go back into our weight paint mode now we're going to focus we've done this one we're going to focus on this one so what we're just going to do now let's quickly see how it looks right right now that is looking at that's how it rotates now we do not want the bottom part to rotate with it okay so what i'm just going to do weight paint of zero and just quickly sh um, brush and put a weight of zero at the bottom part something looking like this and then once we have done that what we can do is just um smooth these out okay smooth it out s shift and then mouse left mouse button and now let's see what happens now look at that is doing perfectly deforming right now do not worry about the eyes the eyes are kind of joined together so it doesn't really matter what how the eyes will rotate or deform so now we've done that let's look at this one over here now this one as you can see it has a lot of weight paint now if we rotate this it's rotating the whole thing and we do not want the it, I don't, we don't want we don't want it to rotate at the bottom over here because that is for the root the root will rotate the bottom so let's quickly select this one and then zero let's quickly do it like this give it a zero over here at the bottom because we don't want to influence it something like this and then the bottom part the control seven to go into bottom orthographic view and look at that let's move it out to add some gradient like that and then this top part we're gonna add it like a gradient as well and now if you rotate it it's gonna be rotating like that and then what we can do is actually add a bit a point one ish to grab gradient over here if you don't want it to rotate it so much we're gonna add a gradient over here so let's quickly wait paint this i don't want it to deform harshly so you can add a smooth bend if you want so you can just alternate the colors to add a smooth bend as now is not um, bending harshly and that is for better deformation to add that sort of gradient so going from green to light blue i mean sorry like green to turquoise to light bluish to a dark blue to add that sort of gradient okay and now that is basically done we don't have to do anything with the root bone because it affects the whole thing and that is literally our weight painting done as you can see if you select this and go into pose mode and if you rotate it every single bone is rotating properly and this looks awesome and now once we have done this once you've done weight painting in our next video we're going to start animating so in our next video i'm going to show you the basics of animation adding keyframes and what does keyframes do so i'll see you guys in my next video